Right now, uh, very pleased to have with us on the show, Tom King, head of the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association. Tom, how you doing, sir? Pretty good, Cam. How about you? I am good. Then again, I have not tried to fly out or, or into uh, a New York area airport lately. Well, you know, New York City, New York City is like the Hotel California. You know, you can you can come in, but you never leave. You know, and that's exactly what they what they do to you. You know, uh, no, no one bothers about you. Can just bring your you know you bring your gun right in because they they don't check incoming flights. But as soon as you try to leave and and declare it, and all the while thinking you were legal, that's when they arrest you. Yeah, you know, the New York Times uh, picking up on this story, which is not new. Uh, gun owners have known about this for for some time, and we've talked about uh, uh, a number of stories in not just uh, uh, Kennedy and LaGuardia, but uh, even in the Newark airport, all run by the uh, the Port Authority. What happens is, you know, as you go to leave and you check in your legally owned gun, uh, if you're not legally allowed to carry it in New York, even if you're leaving the state, you're arrested. In some cases, this has happened when people have... Um, you know, they, they, they've been delayed on flights, Tom, and they've had to stay over uh, and they've had really no other choice. Like, I still don't know what some of these folks are, are supposed to have done differently to avoid uh, being arrested and thrown in jail. Uh, well, according to the city of New York is uh, just give up all your Second Amendment rights and not bring a firearm to New York State with you, because according to them, it's against the law. Yeah. Uh, and, and so, uh, you know, this is why, Tom, to me, this is one of the uh, one of the reasons why we need a national right to carry reciprocity system. Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, we've been pushing for that. And, and, and I'll tell you, the politicians of New York are scared to death that that's going to happen. They, they really are. They, you know, they, you know, New York City. OK. And the 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 politicians down there and uh, you know the liberal mindset. They are expecting, uh, you, you know, Dodge City, Kansas. If if there is in effect a re re reciprocity nationwide, you know, you know, I know, and, and all of the sane thinking individuals know that that's just not going to happen. Well, I exactly, and unfortunately for these folks, um, you know, who get caught in this, the uh, the courts to 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 this point, Tom. Um, have not been a a, a, uh, a source for comfort. Oh, absolutely not. Um, it just, to, you know, I thought it was kind of apropos that this story came out and that you called because we're working on a case right now where a, where a, uh, a trucker was uh, arrested in uh, Jamestown, New York, for this very thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, driving through the state? Yeah. Now, I would think, you know, and this is one of, again, this is one of, the, I'm not an attorney here, but uh, one of the questions is, does the Firearms Owners Protection Act actually protect firearm owners? And if you're traveling from a place where you're legally allowed to be with your firearm to a place where you're legally allowed to be with your firearm, you should be able to pass through. But New York is uh, interpreting this law, I'm guessing, very strictly. Very strictly is right. You know, uh, I, I don't have... I mean, this is this is so new. I mean, this was this this has been breaking within the last oh two three hours. Oh wow! Okay, okay. and uh, I, I don't have all of the information yet, but from what I have, it appears that the guy was perfectly legal under the uh, uh, under the Firearms Owners Protection Act, and uh, there is so. But we're we're continuing to look into it, and uh, th there will be more coming out on this this later. All right. Uh, in the meantime, Tom, I mean, what is your advice other than know the law? And if you're traveling through a New York airport, don't bring your gun. Yeah. You know, if you're coming through the airports, you know, particularly where you have to declare a gun, uh, you know, just don't bring it with you. Because New York State does not recognize any other pistol permits uh, from around the United States. So, Therefore, you're going to be uh, illegally in possession of a, ha a handgun in New York City or the entire state. And that will, in fact, that's a, that's a felony charge, okay? And, um, and you know, they take it very seriously when a, uh, when a legal individual comes in and, and makes a mistake because he's not aware of the law. Uh, unlike many of the criminals who they just write those charges off or plea bargain them down, mm -hmm. you know, uh, if if you are a legal gun owner and you come into New York, you are going to be prosecuted. Yeah, 
Well, that's the uh, the long and short of it, Tom. Unfortunately, uh, that that stinks that that's the way it is in New York State right now. But uh, until we can change it, you know, gun owners have to be aware of the consequences. That that's exactly right. And and if you're driving through the state, uh, make sure that it, you know that it's locked. Unload it, locked in your trunk with the ammunition in a in a safer uh, in, in a uh, separate case, just as the uh, the firearms owners pre, uh, you know act uh, specifies. Yeah, yeah. All right, Tom. Thank you again, sir, for uh, joining us on the program. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Cam. I appreciate coming on. You bet, uh, Tom King, head of the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association.